So let's get started with React and let's dive into that React code and learn how to work with React and how to write React code. Now in the project I showed you before, you might have noticed that I had a couple of files here in this React project and these files are actually JavaScript files, but in those files I then use HTML code. And that is not something you can normally do. Normally you can't add HTML in JavaScript, at least not like this. You can add it as part of a string or of a template literal, but not just like that. That's not syntax that would work out of the box. That's not syntax that would work out of the box. And indeed it wouldn't work just like this. That's why for working with React, we set up a project that's a little bit more complex than a vanilla JavaScript project. In the standard JavaScript project, I just have a HTML, CSS and JavaScript file. And in the HTML file, I simply import those external files and then they do their thing. Because that is all just standard modern JavaScript. With React, to write React code in a convenient way, we can't just set up a project like this because we want to use this HTML in JavaScript syntax and the browser would not understand this syntax out of the box. That's why a React project is a bit more complex and involves more files because it involves a so-called build step which means the code we write will not be the code that ends up in the browser. We simply write code in a very convenient way for us as a developer. And then behind the scenes, that code will be transformed before it reaches the browser. And in addition to that build step with a modern React project, we typically also want a development server, which hosts our running React application locally on our machine. And which for example, updates the page in the browser whenever we make changes to our code so that we don't have to reload that page manually all the time. And because that's the kind of setup we need, we don't just create a couple of HTML and JavaScript files. Instead, we typically create a React project with an extra tool that gives us all that behind the scenes magic added to the project automatically. And the most popular tool for that would be create React app. You can simply Google for create dash react dash app and you either find this entry on the official docs or this GitHub repository. In the end, you can use either of the two. There you learn a bit more about it and that you might not need it, but in reality for most React projects you do. And then you learn how you can set up a project with that tool. And it's in the end just one easy command. Now for this command to be executable on your system though, you need to install Node.js first. Now Node.js is a JavaScript runtime that allows you to run JavaScript outside of the browser. We don't write any Node.js code with React. React is not a Node.js library or framework. It is about browser side JavaScript instead. But we do need Node.js to install this create react app tool or to use this create react app tool. And the project generated by that tool will also use node.js behind the scenes for this automatically reloading development server and for some code transformations, which transform the code we write into code that runs in the browser. That's why you should visit nodejs.org and there install the latest Node.js version, whatever that version is when you're visiting this. Simply install the latest version here by clicking on it. That will then give you an installer for your operating system. It's available for Mac OS, Linux and Windows and it should automatically select your operating system here. And then you simply walk through that installer and install Node.js. Here I'm on Mac OS, but the process will in the end be the same on Windows. You can just accept all the defaults, don't need to change anything there. And that will then install Node.js on your system. Now once that is done, you are ready to run this npx create react app my app 
command. And for this, simply open up your default terminal or command prompt on Windows and in there use the cd command to navigate into a folder where you want to create your React project, your development folder, your desktop, anything like that. Then once you're in that folder, once you navigated there inside of that terminal or command prompt, run npx create-react-app and then simply something like my first app, or in my case, react-course. Simply hit enter thereafter, and this will now create a new folder named React Course in that folder in which you ran that command. And here I need to confirm that I wanna temporarily install this create React app tool. And then this folder will be created of that name you chose here. And in that folder, a brand new React project will be set up for you. Now, React project sounds like a big thing. It will still be a simple web page with JavaScript, JavaScript managed through React in the end. But because of these transformations I discussed, because of that, it will be a project where all these transformation steps are already pre-configured for you so that you can focus on the code and not on the setup of the project. Now this can take a short while and if you're facing any problems here, make sure you got no firewall blocking, uh, outgoing traffic or anything like that. No antivirus tool that could be interfering here. And then at some point you should be done. You should see output that looks something like this. Now with that, we can cd into that newly created folder and then run npm start which is a command based on the node package manager which is a tool that was installed together with node.js which will in the end execute a script that was pre-configured in that created react project and when we run this script a development server will be started as it says here which will host this react project it should open a new tab in your browser automatically on localhost 3000 and display a starting project there, a starting website. If it didn't, simply manually go to localhost 3000 or whichever address is shown to you here. And then you should see something like this. The exact starting project can change over time since the starting project template can be changed by the Create React App team but ultimately you should see something like this. And that's now a little dummy website which was pre-built for us and which already exists in that starting project. Now we are going to get rid of that starting project here and build our own website though, our own React project. 